space update we did just have a near miss as we had a rather large near earth object come skimming by us on the 10th but what's more important to note is that on that date they discovered another incoming object that has a very sharp inclination and they just picked this thing up like I said on the 10th they only have observations from then until now and they're saying that this will definitely come right around the range of being within one lunar lunar distance of Earth. Roughly the distance from here to the moon. But they're not sure. This whole thing can change. They don't have enough data here to say specifically where it's going to go. They're saying that it will cross by Earth at the closest that one's ever done so since 2006. They're saying that at this rate, the asteroid's spotted and that it's going to fly past the Earth at over 78,000 miles per hour on Halloween. There's also more information here talking about this is the closest approach by a known object this large until 1999 AN10 approaches within one lunar distance of August of 2027. So this is the largest until then that they've seen and they just picked this thing up like I said here within the past 10 days they are saying it will not strike earth but I want to make people aware that the last time they were expecting a larger object to go by and to watch it that's when the large fireball came down over Shelia Banks in Russia and they said oh we didn't see that one either because it came from the direction of the sun well I'm telling you this one just came in out of nowhere it's rather large and it is coming in on a strange at a strange arc I'm going to leave links for all this you guys can check it out also links over here to spaceweather.com got some awesome auroras being spotted you guys up north you guys catch these, send some images my way, I'll share them. Always awesome to see what's going on in other parts of the globe. Also, when it comes to space, I'm going to leave some links so you guys can check out these different places, especially this one. It will pick up the echoes of meteors. And right now, we're coming into the peak of this most recent event. And if you look at the sky map here, you can see that Wednesday morning before sunrise... If you look southeast, you can see Venus, Jupiter, and Mars down here on the left. Right here between Gemini and Orion, you can expect to see at the peak around 20 to 25 of these meteors per hour. Now, there's also going to be an event here on the 24th where you're going to have Mars, Jupiter, and Venus very closely clustered in the sky at the feet of Leo. That's the 24th and this is the 29th. You can see that they're still within that um, five, six day range. They stay within a five degree radius of a circle. And I'll also leave a link here so you guys can check out the orbital data on this newest incoming object, this near Earth object that is going to come pretty close. Now as they get more data, I'm sure they're going to update all these charts and stuff but this is what you got to watch for ones that pop up out of nowhere and I mean what do they do what are you going to do it's a true test if one does come close to earth to see what kind of plan they do have if people have been predicting events like this to happen something to strike the earth somewhere around this time period and I'm not saying that this object is going to be the one or do the damage but when you have an object of this size coming through out of nowhere you never know what it's going to knock off balance what it could kick our way smaller type of objects that could come through like a Shelly Binks event nonetheless I'll leave links wanted to give you guys the heads up on this information let it be known they are tracking this new incoming object Until next time, y'all stay safe. It's been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.